excited. We're gonna go diving tomorrow. in the dive store and now I'm driving up the highway to Nanaimo fingers crossed that the highway is all good and the heavy rainfall and flooding that we've had hasn't affected it too much but wish me luck let's do it yay I can't wait to go swimming all right heading up the Malahat Let's go diving! Woohoo! It's not a foggy, fogginess. Oh, looks freaking beautiful. Yeah, it's in such a nice spot. Fog, fog is kind of a nice, uh, nice change. A little less bright, but yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, it's freaking beautiful. Up. Looks like slack tide right now. Yeah, it does. Yeah. There's a little seal out there. Seal or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't slip on the rocks. Don't slip on the rocks. Don't slip on the rocks. That's so cool. So where are the sea lions if they're here? They must uh, be on the other side? Yeah, you can hear a colony. Apparently there's like log booms over there. Like if you Oh they love log booms. Yeah, and apparently they all live in the log booms. But what happens is they'll they'll start over there and then they'll swim around the corner and usually go over there somewhere. I'm so excited. Yee! Big thanks to Chris for bringing me out here. This is a beautiful day. The fog just makes the whole place look super mysterious. And I mean, look at it.
After the excitement of getting to the dive, and the first couple of drops to get a feel for the new underwater world I'm exploring, my skin adjusts to the temperature of the water in my suit. My heart rate slows down, and my breath holds get slowly longer. Sometimes in a new dive location, my brain can be quick to compare it to the places I'm familiar with. My favorites, full of life, fish, creatures floating about. Is this just another barren, rocky ocean floor? At a rocky drop-off, it feels like being on the edge of the world, if the flat earth theory is true. What lies beneath is shadowy, dark, and unknown and just a little out of reach with the super high tide we're swimming in today. Freediving is different from scuba diving. You can't sit in front of something beautiful and observe it and take it in for long periods of time. You only have a few moments, seconds, or minutes to time travel. Take in as much as you can see in one go before having to return to the surface. If the current or tide doesn't carry you far away, you may find your way back for another glance. But more often than not, when you back down, you're in another place altogether. The dive before, just a fleeting memory. The more comfortable I got, the deeper I could go. The more varieties of shellfish and larger fish we started to come across. Sculpins to rockfish to lincod and perch. Creatures that are experts in camouflage, some easy to spot and some not, hiding in rocks and among caves.
epic sky. <laughs> because of that car. It's true, it's true. The ephemeral nature of it all that encourages me to be the best I can be for all I love around me. <laughs> the noisy silence and the peacefulness of being immersed in a world, a land that you are only a temporary guest in, a visitor, an observer, a protector. Diving sometimes feels like you're flying, riding above the ground, the rocky surface, on your own magic carpet for as long as your spell will last, or your breath hold. Tootsies are cold, but I feel good. It was in a great swim and now I feel tired and relaxed and ready for some hot tea to warm up. Did you find a cool bottle? Yeah, yeah it looks like a, from 1931. 1931? A hundred year old bottle, that's crazy. It's about it, it's 10 more years. So 90, 90 years old. Woo! Yeah. That's awesome. You want you want to have a shower too? Oh, I would love one. Yeah. Oh, that's cold. I know, right? Oh. I know that's cold. Oh. Oh. Good thing we should. So I was a mini. suit is now saturated so I'm trying to dry that if I want to try and swim tomorrow uh, I don't have much choice this is why the big van is gonna have a wetsuit drying room because it's kind of like an important thing for my life 
Okay.